Well, it's been a while, so today we're gonna look at some stands. And honestly, I don't think I'm mentally ready for this video, especially for these stands. Oh, hell no, bro, I'm not ready. I thought I'd switch things up for today, so we're gonna be looking at multiple different types of stands. All types of stand cringe today, because I thought just doing dream stands over and over again would kind of get dry. We gotta spice things up here, so let's jump right in. So for the first stand base we got that I've been seeing on my radar is Wednesday. And this is the newest and hottest show. <coughs> Yeah, no, nah, there is no way in hell I would be able to do that dance and live with myself after. Especially if I was like a middle-aged mom looking like Trisha Paytas over here. If I looked like that, I would I would be out here getting cooked in the workplace at my 9-to-5 job. Now, scout the object from both of the clips and add your desired background. For the other scene, plan up the unwanted object and replace it to myself. Oh yeah, I maybe need some camera tracking to synchronize camera movement. Here we go, the final result. How the f- Damn, this dude probably could edit way better than my ass could. If my life depended on it, I couldn't mask. And forgot about camera tracking. But yeah, I guess uh, with his talents, uh, he wants to put himself in Wednesday. Let's see the final results. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. Yeah, this video would not have been in here if he didn't do that. Obviously, that's pretty cool if you put yourself in Wednesday. But nah, you're just taking it too far. Oh my god, bro. Bro put himself in just to make a clip of him making out with her. That That's crazy to me, bro. I saw this clip all over TikTok. Clip of him, like, pretending like he's kissing Wednesday in the movie. Or the show, my bad. I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. I would slide I would slide right into those DMs, you feel? But I don't know, that's just too far. Putting yourself in the show and then kissing her? I don't know. It's like that one Eddie Munson video all over again. Sorry to anyone who knows me. My entire personality will be Wednesday Adams for the foreseeable future, and it will be cringy. You know what? At least I could respect the cringe warning. I don't know if this video is like mocking the people who are like, oh my god, I'm so Wednesday, guys, or they, I don't know, maybe. But if it isn't, well, your followers will thank you for the cringe warning. I bet they will. Or no, <laughs> no, they probably unfollow or something. Like, what if I made my whole personality Eddie Munson? Y'all would unsubscribe. Y'all would have did a speed run everything for it, too. Dog, what the hell are you doing? Why are you licking it, yo? I don't know why he licked the blood, quote unquote, like that. That was weird. That's probably like ketchup or something. But still, I don't even like the taste of ketchup just by itself. Like, it just tastes weird as hell. But yet, somehow, I've eaten worse things. But yeah, that Wednesday dance, that shit went viral on TikTok. So yeah, now there's a lot of Wednesday stands. And that is the end of that chapter. We're gonna move on to dream stands. Everyone's favorite. Couldn't do this one first. I, I had to delay it because I, need I needed to mentally prepare myself for this one. Bark for me. Woof, woof. Ah, Twitter. This is exactly why I'm radio silent on Twitter, because there's out there's Minecraft stands out here barking for dream. That's just wild. And after he got hit with the little, uh, I don't even know if I can say the word, but it, it's on screen. I thought they would have dipped after that, but no, they're still barking for dream out here on Twitter. And he's got that 12-year-old boy Snapchat filter on, bro. This is, this is something I would see, like, on someone's Snapchat story when I was 12 years old. Some kid in my middle school with the devil horn filter on. Welcome to the Dream SP. There's so much to see. You can well be cute and Tommy screaming shit. Okay, I'm sure you heard enough. I know you guys wouldn't want to hear me read that entire paragraph. But yeah, we're gonna skim through it quickly and get to the lowlights. Harl and Sapnap being creeps. You'll meet bad boy Halo too. He's so cute. Bro, what are you saying? Like I swear, some of these dream stands, I don't even think they like hear themselves or even see what they're saying. And she's saying for Wilbur and Nikki to just date already. Oh my god. I don't know why people ship like that but it's just it's just cringy it, it makes it uncomfortable for the two people it kind of just makes it awkward psycho stare thingy
Damn, you weren't lying when you said psycho stare. You are practically staring in my soul. I bet you could see my organs at this point. Like, that, that's how far you're staring. You could probably see my brain, my neurons firing up. Trying to think of some stupid dream stand roast besides your fatherless. Okay, I don't even say that one. I don't know why I'm, I'm roasting myself like that. No, dream sexual is being sexually attracted to dream was taken. No, that's just having a crush. Go blank yourself. WTF. These motherfuckers are wildin' out here. I already know they have, like, a big fat head sticker of Dream in their room, just chillin'. And they got, like, a picture on their nightstand that maybe they kiss it goodnight every night. Who knows? But yeah, if you made a whole sexuality surrounding Dream, like, if that's your whole personality, then yeah, I think you would. And then, of course, you send people death threats, like, bro, you're not cool, you're still walking out. Like, you're a loser if you do that. All Dream stands are ugly. Okay, then. How is this man so gorgeous? Bro, he's not a Dream stand. I don't know what you're talking about. He knows Dream IRL. He talks to him. He's actually friends with them. He actually knows him IRL. I don't know, this might be you low-key simping for sapnap over here. Dream looks like a giant soggy pretzel. I love him. I seriously don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I guess getting called a wet giant soggy pretzel is supposed to be a good thing. Is there some sort of code I gotta crack here? Some hidden Morse code I gotta decipher? Next up, we got MHA stands, or also known as My Hero Academia stands, and I've heard a lot about them. This really happened at my theater. MHA fans can't be real. A Dragon Ball superhero have to remind you who the world's greatest hero is. His name is All Might. One for all! Fall Cowling! Detroit! Bro, is he going Super Saiyan in the middle of the movie theater? I know you're going to see Dragon Ball Super Hero, but damn, you don't gotta go Super Saiyan in front of the entire movie theater. I mean, I know there's like no one in there, but goddamn, the trivia questions haven't even popped up yet, and you're over here screaming. This dude is running the risk of getting kicked out. Like, are you hearing how loud he's screaming? Hey, guys, have you ever heard of All Might? I, you wanna eat a hair? What the Boom. heck? Boom. What are you doing? No, listen, listen. What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Bro, this dude sounds like he's in an anime, but what they're doing is booing you. Shut the hell up and wait like everyone else for those goofy-ass trivia questions no one even looks at. It's already been decided. Even if it's set in stone, I'll smash that future! Hey, Deku, shut up, you nerd! <laughs> what the hell? Damn, they're over here throwing shit at you. I don't know why you haven't left yet. Like, after the booze, I thought he would have been out, but no. That honestly is wild. I couldn't imagine seeing something like this at the movie theater. Or some kid just goes super sane for no reason in front of you. He's probably trying to get one of those hype moments going with the crowd who's trying to hype them up like, yeah, let's go Dragon Ball Super here. But no, it's not gonna work. I mean, bro, you're going super sane in a quiet ass movie theater. <laughs> Um, Deku, can I ask you some questions? <sighs> sure, whatever. All I gotta say is just, what the hell? I don't even know what these noises are. I couldn't even describe them to you. It feels like it's coming from an extraterrestrial being at this point. But no, I guess it's a crazy MHA stand. Yeah, I think this is the reason that... I saw a TikToker take down her MHA flag in her room. Maybe this video did it, maybe the last video did it, but I really couldn't tell you what that video was. There's a reason someone made a TikTok taking down their MHA poster, and it's probably because of one of these videos. I don't know what this is. I don't know why you would even do this in front of a live audience. I don't think they want to see that. I mean, the chat is going nuts right now. They're like, what the hell's going on? What is this? I'm crying. I'm throwing up. I'm shitting. The whole chat's going ballistic as you're just slowly rubbing whoever this is. Yeah, I don't really watch anime. That I've only seen like one episode of One Piece. That's about it. And these people just make the anime, like people who watch anime look bad. This, this is just awful. The For You page must have been fucking shwasted that night for whoever got this in their recommended. Or their TikTok live page or whatever. There must have been some sort of malfunction or something. Then next up, we got the K-pop stands. Now, these are just a classic. There's so many BTS stands, and if I were to say, like, I don't know, K-pop sucks or whatever, then there's people that will mauled in my comment section saying how I suck and whatever. BTS is bad. Bro, look at your face. Wow, not me liking all of my armies here. It's dope, and bro, at blank. Your existence itself is the baddest thing ever. Go back, please. Yeah, you see what I mean now? Everyone, I don't know. When someone says BTS is bad, it's like 
the person just becomes an opposition now and they just start blaming him on Twitter. It's like they had to go white knight for K-pop real quick. Like, who the hell cares if he says BTS is bad? Like, it's three words. You're really gonna say someone has a shitty existence just because they said BTS is bad? That's Twitter in a nutshell. Like, no, no one can be at peace on Twitter. Like, it's his opinion. You don't need to call him ugly or freak out about it. Scariest BTS members when they get angry. Number one should be the stand base. That, that should be number one. Like, that's who you don't really don't want to get mad in that K-pop space, not the artist. Like, they probably could give two fucks if someone says, eh, I don't really like K-pop music. Yeah, guys, I'm over here shaking in my boots. I don't know about you guys. I am quivering over here. Maybe you showed, like, I show speed raging on a keyboard. Like, something along those lines. Maybe you would have got me. Nam June. I probably butchered that. Always tell daddy what's wrong wrong when you feel upset that okay I can't, I can't read anymore like i've already cringed like five seconds into reading that it's not a good sign like and plus i don't want to read a wall of text about whatever the hell i was just reading about like i would fall asleep at the wheel here like someone would have to take the goddamn wheel for me i wouldn't be surprised if some people are like passed out watching this right now like schlumped but i'm over here in a ball like curled up because it's just that weird comment pop if you made this far thank you all for the amazing year this year and also thank you to my members and yeah i'll catch you on the next video peace